I was a freshman in college, and I would say at the time I had a profession of faith, but not a possession of faith. And so going into college, I would have said I was a Christian, but I didn't have any sort of real relationship with Jesus Christ. So for the first few weeks of college, I went right into the party scene and was diving into that. And then one day there was this guy who was walking down our hallway doing magic tricks. And he's a really cool guy. And so we became friends. And over time, he invited me into a Bible study. Over time, this Bible study kind of morphed into this ministry and the leader who, my friend, he invited me to a beach getaway in Myrtle Beach. And in one of the sermons, I felt convicted of how I was living my life. And after that sermon, my friend uh, took me on a walk and he said, you can only live a life away from God for so long. I remember leaving the beach and thinking I needed to change. And so I tried to change, but it didn't last very long because it was only behavioral modification. There was no heart transformation at all. And I found myself right back into the party scene. And then there was one night, it was Halloween in my freshman year. I come back after a party, I'm in the dorm room, and this girl looks at me and says, aren't you that guy in that Bible study? I remember feeling convicted. And I went into my room and I grabbed the Bible that my friend, the magic guy, had given to me and I began reading it and I began praying. I don't remember what I read or what I said, but I do know that the next morning I woke up and I was a believer and I was ready to follow Jesus. So after I became a believer, I had these new desires, this strong desire for knowing God's word and helping other people find and follow Jesus. And my friend, uh, he began discipling me. And so we'd meet every week and he would give me resources and uh, push me and challenge me to be very open about my faith with my friends and really help me grow in the Lord. So a year after becoming a Christian, I sensed this call to ministry to preach and to teach God's word and God just opened doors. And here we are now at Plaza Baptist. We replanted this church about two years ago and by God's grace, we've seen the Lord do some incredible things, 15 people, have gone forward to get baptized. We've seen the church grow tremendously in a very spiritually difficult area, a place where churches have historically had to close their doors. We're seeing our church grow and thrive and bear fruit and, and reach people who are far from God, but they're close to us. Thinking back to my time in college, my friend who was doing magic tricks, his name is Kyle Mercer the lead pastor of Two Cities Church. And I think back to the influence he had in my life and the role that he and Two Cities has played in our lives as a church. That partnership is bearing fruit in our church, in our community. I think Kyle's role in my life, the influence he made in my life, he really taught me how to communicate the scriptures in a way that is clear, compassionate, and convictional. And that has served me really well here at Plaza, every Sunday, opening up the book and explaining what it means and calling the church to live it out. So since Kyle helped me find and follow Jesus, I spent the rest of my life trying to help other people find and follow Jesus. And even as a pastor, trying to create a movement of disciples. But it all started with that one conversation with that one person in that one dorm room.